In Oceanside, California, there's this 15-year-old girl named Ruby Gill. She lives with her family, who happens to be Krakens, but they're trying their best to fit in with the rest of us. Ruby's mom, Agatha, is totally against her going to prom at her high school because it's on a ship in the middle of the ocean. At first, Ruby decides to play it safe and not go to prom, but then her buddies Margot, Trevin, and Bliss start persuading her to change her mind. They're all like, come on Ruby, you gotta go. Ask out your crush, Connor. So she finally gives in and decides to go for it. Hold on to your tentacles as Ruby takes you on a wild ride through a world where Krakens rule the waves. With her teenage antics and extraordinary abilities, get ready for a laughter-filled experience that will keep you hooked from start to finish. But guess what? Just when Ruby is about to ask Connor to prom, stuff hits the fan. Connor slips and falls right into the water. Like, talk about bad timing. After Ruby rescues Connor by jumping into the water and putting him on the boat ramp, the dude totally thinks he owes his life to this new girl called Chelsea Vanderzee. And get this, Chelsea tries to act all friendly with Ruby after the incident. Feeling freaked out and not knowing what the heck is going on, Ruby decides to hide in the library. But things take a wild turn when she notices these bioluminescent suction cups on her fingers. Next thing you know, she transforms into this massive, monstrous creature. It's like something out of a horror movie, seriously. Trying to hold back her growth and size, Ruby ages to pause it temporarily. But just when she's catching her breath, the librarian shows up and startles her big time. And, well, in the chaos of her transformation, she accidentally wrecks the entire library. Talk about a total mess. As Ruby reveals her crack in form, Chelsea's eyes go wide with amazement. Meanwhile, Ruby bolts toward the lighthouse, desperate to escape the whole situation. But guess what? Agatha catches wind of what's happening and starts chasing after Ruby with her long-lost brother Brill in tow. Finally catching up to Ruby, Agatha ages to calm her down and help her regain her normal size. It's like a major relief for Ruby, dude. With the chaos settled, they all head back home. Once they're back at the house, Ruby's pops, Arthur, and her little bro, Sam, find out about the whole transformation deal. It's a total shocker for them, but at least they're in the loop now. Agatha drops a bombshell on Ruby and spills the beans that she can also transform into a massive kraken. Like seriously? Ruby is so ticked off that her own mom never bothered to mention this to her before. Fuming with anger, Ruby decides to ditch the whole situation and make a run for it. With some assistance from Brill, her long lost uncle, they set off to meet Grandmama, who happens to be the warrior queen of the Seven Seas. Now that's some hardcore royalty right there. During their meeting, Grandmama reveals to Ruby that she is actually a princess and the next in line to take over the throne. Talk about a major bombshell. Ruby is just blown away by this revelation. Grandmama spills the beans that mermaids, of all creatures, are actually the wickedest beings in the seas. And get this, they even discovered this epic trident called the Trident of Oceanus to take down some of the Krakens. But Ruby's mom, Agatha, not only locked up the mermaids for eternity, but also hid the powerful trident. That's why Agatha escaped to the surface, to keep Ruby safe and raise her away from all that drama. When Grandmama offers Ruby the throne, she's like, nah, thanks, but no thanks. However, she's totally grateful for finally getting the chance to meet her grandmother. It's a special moment for her, no doubt. On her way back home though, Ruby's luck takes a nosedive, died in Oceanside, and this crazy guy almost ends up killing her. Talk about a seriously messed up situation. Just when things couldn't get any crazier, Chelsea spills the beans and reveals that she's actually a mermaid. And get this, she swoops in and saves Ruby from that crazy encounter, helping her escape from that nut job Gordon Lighthouse. The following day, Ruby tries to get back to her regular life. But guess what? Footage of her transforming into a massive crack and goes viral. And it's all over the internet. That's not something you can easily brush off. Feeling overwhelmed, Ruby decides to skip school and hangs out with Chelsea instead. That's when Chelsea drops a bombshell and tells her that her mom, Queen Nerissa, who's apparently this wicked mermaid, supposedly got killed while trying to snatch back the trident. Like, talk about heavy family drama. So Chelsea has this plan, right? She asks Ruby to fetch the trident to bring together the Krakens and mermaids. And to make sure Ruby is strong enough, she trains with her badass grandmother, who teaches her all kinds of powerful stuff. On prom night, Ruby decides to spill the beans to her mom about Chelsea. But guess what? Agatha is majorly disappointed that Ruby made friends with the mermaid. She goes all strict mom mode 
and forbids Ruby from ever seeing her grandmother again. Bummer, dude. Feeling or torn up, Ruby decides to take matters into her own hands. She runs away to grab that legendary trident for Chelsea. And guess what happens next? When Ruby finally gets her hands on it, Chelsea drops a major bombshell. Turns out, she's actually Queen Nerissa, the very same mermaid who escaped her prison just to find a kraken like Ruby to manipulate into retrieving the trident for rises up and confronts her. It's like a clash of titans, dude. During the intense battle, Ruby ages to save her friends and even Connor, who's on the prom boat. Talk about being a total hero. And you know what? Connor is totally impressed by Ruby's bravery, like major bonus points for her. In a twist of fate, Nerissa gains the upper hand during the battle. But here's the cool part. Ruby figures out that she can disarm Nerissa by destroying the trident. She realizes that if they unleash enough power, they can break that thing into pieces. So, with their laser eyes blazing, Ruby, Agatha, and Grandmama join forces and unleash a massive attack, obliterating the trident and finally defeating Nerissa. It's like a total boss move. But guess what? Nerissa shrinks back to her normal size and ends up getting captured by Gordon, that sailor dude. With the battle won, Ruby makes amends with her friends. She musters up the courage and asks Connor to prom. And guess what? The dude totally says yes. They become a couple. How sweet is that? In the end, life goes back to normal for everyone, more or less. Ruby takes on the role of protector in Oceanside, making sure everything stays in order. It's like her new gig, you know. And she and Connor, they're just doing their thing, being a cute couple and all. We hope you had a Kraken-tastic time joining Ruby Gilman, the hilarious teenage Kraken, on her incredible adventure. Thanks for diving into this animated and adventurous journey with us. But hey, the fun doesn't stop here. Get ready for more rib-tickling laughs and mind-bending comedy in our upcoming escapades with Ruby Gilman. Stay tuned for more high-speed hilarity and get ready to be swept away by the whirlpool of excitement.